news from the region, and from around the state. It's Florida Focus. Good evening. Welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Amanda Solar. The unemployed are being stolen from without even knowing it. The state workforce agency has voted unanimously to urge Tampa Bay Workforce Alliance to place their president, Renee Gilmore, on administrative leave without pay. According to last year's term, problems found included frequent purchases, incomplete credit card records, and thousands of dollars spent on food. Despite the accusations, the local board continues to support Gilmore. NASA turns its sights to the sun. Today, an unmanned rocket carrying the space agency's Solar Dynamics Observatory launched into Earth's orbit. Scientists want to study how solar activity can knock out power and disrupt communication between satellites. The observatory will spend five years transmitting 150 million bits of data every second. This weekend, offshore drilling will unite Floridians across the state. Conchetta DeLuca has more on this in the newsroom. Many are expected to lend a hand in a protest against oil drilling in Florida. Literally, Hands Across the Sand is a statewide demonstration that takes place on Saturday. Participants will meet at one of the many beach locations and form a line holding hands for 15 minutes, long enough for organizers to videotape the event. The protest is part of a grassroots effort to persuade lawmakers not to drill off Florida shores. Pinellas County has listed more locations for the protest than any other county. The issue is popular in Pinellas, where there are several campaigns against drilling already underway. Those interested should arrive at the event by 1 p.m. and line up by 1.30. Her secrets are finally being revealed. The Museum of Science and Industry in Tampa will be opening its new Da Vinci exhibit this Saturday. Visitors will be taken through the life of Da Vinci and will learn the secrets behind the famous smile. The Mona Lisa and its many forms are displayed along with Da Vinci's passion for flight. We expect to have a huge turnout. People from all over Tampa and hopefully all over Florida are going to come out to see this exhibit. That's all for Florida Focus. Thank you for watching.